Several positive things have happened that would justify us to uh, the increase in ELA that we approved today. Incidentally, I didn't say by how much. We substantially accommodated the request put forward by the Bank of Greece, recalibrated over one week. So the increase would be 900 million over one week. Um, to your second point, um, let me say that uh, the liquidity provision, according to our rules, was never meant to be unlimited and unconditional. Uh, here, it's just one good opportunity to clarify some confusion. Oh, by the way, uh, let, let me preface this saying that we take these, these sort of criticisms very, very seriously. And uh, I, want, I don't want to underplay the difficulty that the ECB and the governing council of the ECB had in the last few weeks about having to take decisions between making sure the, payments, the payment system continues to work, the liquidity provision, the monetary policy, not to amass excessive risks for the euro system at the same time, all at the same time. But just let me make one legal point. First of all, the payment system that pe some people have referred to doesn't have to do with liquidity provisions. There is an article in the treaty that says that basically the ECB has the responsibility to promote the smooth functioning of the payment system. But this has to do with the functioning of uh, target two, the distribution of notes, coins. So not, not with the provision of liquidity, which actually is ruled, is regulated by a different provision in uh, the article 18.1 in the ECB statute, first of all, in order to achieve the objectives of the ESCB, the ECB and the national central banks may conduct credit operations with credit institutions and other market participants with lending based on an adequate collateral. This is the treaty provision. But our operations were not monetary policy operations, but ELA operations. And so they are subsequently re regulated by a separate agreement, which makes explicit reference to the necessity to have sufficient collateral. So all in all, liquidity provisions never been unconditional and unlimited. 